A fantastic discovery is currently shaking the world of astronomy, a structure so unbelievably huge that it pushes our imagination to its limits. Scientists have discovered the absolutely largest structure in the known universe, a truly cosmic megastructure that dwarfs anything seen before. What this discovery means for our understanding of the universe and the Big Bang, and how this structure extends in the sky, you'll find out in this video. Make sure to stick around until the end. Welcome, everyone. A structure that literally stretches across the entire sky. If you are as fascinated by such astronomical discoveries as I am, then why not leave a subscription to the channel? Subscribing costs nothing, you won't miss anything more from the world of astronomy, and you'll help me. Thanks a lot, guys! So what is this structure all about? Scientists have discovered a cosmic network that extends over 1.4 billion light years. By way of comparison, the light from the sun that reaches your skin today has traveled just 8 light minutes. If you were traveling at the speed of light, it would take you 1.4 billion years to get from one end of the structure to the other. Even at warp 9, that would be damned. It would take a long time. Scotty would have to push the dilithium crystals to their limits. More power. We're superheating. Let me know if you are Star Trek fans and which series you think is the best from the franchise. The best series is from the franchise. I'm currently re-watching the old Enterprise episodes and I'm having a lot of fun. But back to our mega structure. The newly discovered superstructure is called Quipo, named after the ancient Inca messages on knotted fabrics. A fitting name because Quipo appears like a huge filament with knotty side strands, a cosmic version, so to speak, of the historical messages. And the researchers who made the discovery had a good reason for the naming. Much of the data was collected at the European Southern Observatory in Chile, where Kipo strings have also been found. But it is not only the sheer size of Kipo that is impressive, its mass also defies imagination. The superstructure weighs in at a whopping 240 quadrillion solar masses. It's like taking 240 trillion suns and throwing them all together in a pile. Even by cosmic standards, that's an unimaginable amount of matter. The discoverer of this gigantic structure, Hans Böhringer from the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics in Garching, explains, If you look at the distribution of galaxy clusters on a spherical shell between 416 and 826 million light years away, you immediately notice a huge structure that extends from the far northern sky to almost the southern end of the sky. Böhringer's team analyzed data from the Rosat X-ray satellite that was collected back in the 1990s to make this discovery. You might wonder why the structure was only discovered now, when the data has been around for so long. Sometimes the biggest discoveries are hiding right under our noses, or in this case, in the archives of our telescopes. With better analysis techniques and AI tools, such older data suddenly reveals its secrets. Prize. Kipo consists of 68 galaxy clusters held together by gigantic amounts of dark matter. If you could look at the night sky and see Kipo, this superstructure would run through several constellations, from Pictor and Carina in the south, through Eridanus and Taurus, to Perseus in the north. Unfortunately, the galaxies in Kipo are so far away, and therefore too faint, so that we can't see them with the naked eye. But what does this discovery mean? So what does it mean for science now? Ge Yongshon, co-author of the study, explains, Even if these are only corrections of a few percent, they become more and more important with increasing accuracy of cosmological observation. This is because such superstructures distort the cosmic background radiation due to their enormous mass and can even influence measurements of the Hubble constant, i.e. the rate at which the universe expands. And by the way, Kipo is not the only superstructure the team has discovered. In total, they have identified five such cosmic giants, which together contain about 45% of all galaxy clusters, 30% of all galaxies, and 25% of all matter in this part of the universe. So these structures are not just cosmic curiosities. They are fundamental building blocks of the universe, like intergalactic neighborhoods in a cosmic metropolis. And here comes something that really blew me away. These superstructures will not last forever. At some point in the course of cosmic evolution, they will break apart and disintegrate into several collapsing units. 
We could say that we are currently observing a snapshot of these transient cosmic constructs. These superstructures are therefore transient configurations, but at present, they are special physical entities with characteristic properties and special cosmic environments that deserve special attention. The researchers write in their study. Incidentally, Boehringer points out that while Quipo is the largest known structure in the nearby universe, larger structures could well exist if we were to examine even larger cosmic volumes. So we may soon discover even more of these superstructures. The right nerds among you might be wondering, what about the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, which is said to be 10 billion light years long? Boehringer says that this structure has never been confirmed as a coherent concentration of matter. Kipo, on the other hand, has clearly been proven to be a physically connected unit. Yes, what I personally find so fascinating about this discovery is the contrast between our tiny existence and these cosmic dimensions. While we live our daily lives here on Earth, there are structures out there whose sheer magnitude is beyond our imagination. And yet we are somehow connected. We are part of the same cosmic network, the same big picture. As Carl Sagan said, we are a way for the universe to know itself. The Kipo discovery also shows us how important it is to map the near cosmos. These gigantic structures not only distort the light that passes through them, but also our view of the early cosmos. For example, the cosmic background radiation, which in turn allows us to draw conclusions about the Big Bang. Researchers also use a clever method to find these structures. They look at galaxy clusters that are particularly bright in X-rays. This method allows them to survey about 86% of the Skantorwaits. The rest is hidden by our own Milky Way galaxy. This area is fittingly called the zone of avoidance by astronomers. It's really crazy when you think about the fact that we can't see a significant part of the universe because our own galaxy is in the way. It's like trying to take a look outside, but the curtain is in the way. Except that the curtain is made up of billions and billions of stars and you can't just push it aside. You could swipe it aside, or like a Romulan, ten generator on a galactic opt level. The largest structure of the universe could be right under our noses and we wouldn't even notice it. What I find so impressive about modern astronomy is that despite our tiny size and limited technological capabilities, we are able to discover and understand such vast structures. In a way, this also shows how far humanity has come, from primitive hominids looking up at the sky and wondering what the points of light meant to a species that can map the largest structures in the universe. The Kipu superstructure is located, for example, near the Vela supercluster, which has been known since 2016. So far, astronomers have not found a connection between the two structures. But it is quite possible that future observations could reveal a bridge between them, especially if we could see better through the avoidance zone. And who knows, maybe intelligent life is also hiding in Quipo somewhere, with the sheer number of galaxies and stars. It seems almost impossible that we are alone, doesn't it? Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think there is an intelligent alien civilization out there? I'm curious to know what you think. I'll keep you updated on all further cosmic discoveries. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel now if you don't want to miss out. And now, let's travel back to Earth. Because there are mysterious phenomena here too. Scientists are baffled by mysterious craters that are suddenly appearing in Siberia. What are these huge holes in the permafrost all about? You can find out everything about it in the video in the top right. Be sure to click on it, it's very exciting. In the bottom right, the algorithm has also selected your next favorite video for you, so check it out. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.